so freaking hot out here. I'm so sweaty already. So we are back at the Matt Hughes skate park and I've been to the skate park a lot, but this time it's a skate park update. They've added a bowl to the back of the park. Now where this bowl used to be, used to be this like prefab metal quarter pipe. It was like a six foot quarter pipe or something like that. Uh, no one I saw really skated it or it was just like beginners kind of going back and forth. I never actually saw people like actually skate it. Um, so it's probably a good thing they got rid of it and swapped it out with this beautiful bowl. It looks like it's about four and a half feet, four feet from, from, from the bottom. Uh, it looks perfect for beginners and as well as people that want to learn uh, some advanced tricks. It just looks really fun. I am not a transition skater, but even I want to get in there and learn something new or just skate around in it. So I'm like really excited about it. Most skate parks either don't have a bowl at all or they have an extremely deep like 10 plus foot bowl. And like I said, I don't skate transition. Uh, bowls scare me. So something this small and uh, beginner friendly, it's great. The rest of the park is exactly the same as before. On one side, it's a bunch of like flat street obstacles. There's some ledges, rails, a little hip. Um, and then the other side is kind of more transition based. There are quarter pipes on each side. So you can kind of flow back and forth. And in the middle, there's some street obstacles. I have done a full tour of this park in the past. So if you want a detailed description of every single obstacle or just want to see a little bit more of the park, uh, I'll have it linked down in the description. Feel free to go check that out. So with that out of the way, let's get warmed up and let's head over to that bowl and see if I can get anything on it. Like I said, I'm not good at transition. This might take a minute. Yeah. Better 